Uh, hi. So today let's let's do a deep dive on the synonym data pass. Again, so this is the diagram. Uh, I'm, the the traffic the packet pass is going to be from the box part to the index part. And uh, I'm going to do just uh, one single ICMP, ICMP pin echo request and uh, to check the uh, uh, synonym date egress data pass here today. And uh, so let's uh, deep dive uh, into it. So uh, in order to do that, um, uh, when you debug the data pass for a uh, synony, you needed to um, turn on the uh, debug verbus. Uh, I'm going to show you here. So debug verbus. So, um, okay. So this is a synonym uh, config map, uh, synonym config. And uh, you need to turn on the uh, debug uh, verbers, uh, then specify the data pass. So then we run the synonym monitor and then you will get the data pass log. And uh, also uh, for monitor, uh, there is a monitor aggregation. And by default, it's set to median. Uh, and uh, so the higher the level, the less packets will be, will be seen in the monitor output. So we wanted to set it to long. Which is uh, uh, which will show us the more uh, uh, detailed packets uh, output in the monitor, and uh, so that's the setting you needed to be aware of to debug the um, synonym data pass. Okay, uh, that's uh, two thing I want to mention. So this is the monitor output I got for the egress uh, data pass. Uh, this is for ICMP echo request. And so let's look through this uh, monitor log and uh, and then we can trace the packet uh, data pass. So here again, this is a bit box to pin the NGX part. And the, this is the first uh, uh, BPF uh, program going to be uh, triggered. And uh, in the log here, uh, we can see here it says uh, from endpoint and here is from container they are the same so in the monitor uh, it's called from endpoint but in the actual code is uh, from container so that's the egress first uh, bpf program uh, and the actual code here is uh, uh, in bpf lxc.c file uh, the section from container and then from container, it started from handle uh, xgress here. And then it's, uh, this is the send trace notify uh, from container. And, uh, and that's the, in the monitor log, it shows from endpoint, okay? So that's uh, uh, from endpoint and uh, and before that, uh, the, the actual uh, packet is uh, logged here. And then we can see uh, the source IP is the bit box uh, pod IP. 
the destination IP is the index um, part IP. Okay. Uh, we can check that. Get part. Okay, so this is the index part IP and the bit box part IP. Okay, they are on a, a different uh, Kubernetes load. Okay, so index part on this uh, load and the bit box on this node. Okay, so let's look at the monitor log. And uh, so this is a ICMP echo request and uh, the first uh, BPF program. And uh, so it says state new identity is this identity, uh, 49798. So that's the Billetbox, uh, Billetbox pod container, Billetbox container identity ID and uh, by the way, this this is uh, uh, for similarly managed uh, pod. Uh, each pod has a uh, endpoint ID. So this is nine nine zero. That's the bit box uh, endpoint ID, and that's the identity ID. Uh, like uh, for uh, similarly VXLAN tunnel mode, this identity will be used as a a VXLAN um, VNI identifier ID, okay? Just you know. Uh, so that's the front end point. And the next is a contract lookup. Uh, the contract lookup, it's, uh, it's here, the code pass is, uh, is this contract lookup, okay? So the code pass here first, uh, handle express, then validate uh, the isolate uh, header to check the protocol type. If it is um, uh, IPv6, then do IPv6. If it's IPv4, then we tail, uh, uh, call this tail handle IPv4, and then it calls the it call this function handle IPv4 from LXC. So that's the main function uh, for the front container. And uh, um, because uh, it, uh, in this main function, it will do uh, 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 lookup services, services if the uh, destination is to a uh, uh, Kubernetes uh, uh, services uh, cluster IP. But in this case, we are, uh, it's part to part uh, uh, communication. Uh, so uh, this uh, services lookup is, uh, is a skit. And so it's the contract lookup uh, we see here, contract lookup, okay? And uh, yeah, so in the contract lookup, um, we can actually uh, go through the code here. So again, that's the validate Ethernet uh, type header. And uh, so this is IPv4, uh, tail call this one. Right, so that's to handle the IPv4. And then that's the main function to handle IPv4 from the container. Let's look at it, look into this main function. And uh, So again, this is for services uh, lookup if it's a, if the destination is to a, a cluster services IP. Uh, in this case, it's not. So then we here we come to this uh, 
a contract lookup. Okay, so contract lookup. And uh, so in the contract uh, lookup, uh, the return value will be, well, here, like it's a, it's a new contract. So, so in this case, yes, it's, it's a new, it's a new uh, contract. Okay. So the next thing is to this log. So what does this log means? Successfully mapped uh, adder. Uh, that's the destination index destination IP address. Uh, to identity this. So what's what's the identity? So this identity has identity IT sixty seventy six. Uh, so what what is this log doing? And uh, we can hear it's actually uh, this one. And look up look up IPv four remote endpoint. So the input is the uh, uh, destination IP. In this case, it's the Nginx IP address. And uh, in the code here, uh, it's uh, this one, look up the remote endpoint. So if we go into this function, uh, it's, it's, look in a, it's look up in a, a IP cache map, okay? So it's looking uh, in a IP, IP cache map. And uh, we can actually show you the IP cache map here is, um, is um, so when we deploy, deployed the signaling uh, and the pod, it will populate, uh, populate the IP cache uh, map. So what I'm doing now is let's uh, look up the map manually. Right? So this is a command. You can uh, see the name map list. So I'm I'm a copy cattle to uh, log in the the synonym agent, and then run this uh, synonym map list. So we have a map called synonym IP cache. So that's the uh, that's uh, that's what this guy is doing. IP cache lookup to to return a. Um, uh, remote endpoint. And uh, so, because we, we can just dump the whole, we can dump the whole uh, IP cache map content, get, and then we can look for our um, index destination IP. So this is our, our the key is our uh, IP address. Uh, it, in this case, it's the index destination IP uh, dot 67. And then it will return a value with a 6076. So that's the identity ID for the remote endpoint. And uh, this is the remote endpoint uh, IP address, uh, which in this case is our, is the target node IP, okay? Because the, because the NGX pod uh, is running on, on this node IP, okay? We can check, right? I have a uh, two node here. Right, this is a node IP, the, the index uh, running part uh, on. And uh, yeah, so this is the, uh, the node identity ID. And uh, 
So that is uh, what this line is doing. So basically it's just uh, uh, to find the destination target node uh, when the packet is encapsulated here, uh, the encapsulated packet is, is supposed to send it to uh, uh, this uh, a node identity ID. Okay. And uh, so here is the, so this is the source identity. That's our busy box identity ID. Okay. And um, so this is uh, encapsulating, uh, which is uh, which is to do the encapsulate encapsulation uh, here, right? So the, here is the is to do the encapsulation, and but the monitor did did not lock those even this function call because they are. The call pass, the data pass, in this case, does not uh, go to this this pass. Uh, and uh, to do the encapsulation. So actually, after the remote endpoint lookup, it also has a, a policy can ingress. So this is a, a signaling to do the uh, policy uh, 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 check. And uh, so if there is a policy set up uh, for, for this Indian, for this busy box pod, and uh, then um, uh, the, the packet could be passed or could be dropped. So that's the policy. Okay. Um, yeah, so, and also if you want to do a, a, a layer seven proxy, to the user space. So this is a redirect the packet to the uh, user space L layer seven proxy. Uh, so this one is a uh, lookup uh, for endpoint. So if the, uh, for example, if the index, index part is on the local uh, load and uh, it will do the local delivery. So it will not do the, uh, VXLAN tunnel encapsulation because uh, not needed. Uh, it's uh, it's local endpoint. So this is uh, the actual uh, encapsulating uh, the packet encapsulation, uh, and um, so that's the kernel uh, kernel function to to do the encapsulation, and then we have got a. a uh, send the trees notify uh, and uh, so encapsulating okay uh, okay let's stop here and then we can continue next time for the rest of the deep dive um, yeah <laughs>